Kansas City's mayor tonight says he's seeking compromise. The debate over short term rentals in the city could be decided by the city council tomorrow. That's when the council scheduled to vote on two ordinances that are meant to regulate short term rental properties. Fox 4 Sean McDowell is working for you now live at City Hall. He was at the meeting where property owners and longtime residents were represented. Sean. Lauren John, Kansas City's mayor, also says that he sees both sides of this debate. City council members say they're concerned about unregistered short-term rental properties. You know, the type with uh, VRBO or Airbnb or some of the registry service for those. There are about 1,400 unregistered ones in the city, according to city council members. Uh, you know, those rental owners say they have rights, but so do the homeowners next door. Come on in. She wants her homes to be open to anyone, and she operates more than 70 of them. This is really going to affect our industry. Kristen Doppelt leads the Kansas City Short-Term Rental Alliance. She's concerned over Kansas City's plan for rental properties, given two ordinances that will be heard by Kansas City's council on Thursday. Saying that they cannot do uh, a short-term rental in a residential area. In an exclusively residential area, yeah. Non, if they're not, if they're not, if it's not their primary residence. Those proposals will allow city leaders to restrict where short term rentals are located to find rental owners who aren't registered with the city and to have the city's Department of Neighborhoods oversee it all. There would be no future short term rentals in residential zones. We would have to open them up here in the crossroads or in the West Bottoms, um, they would not be allowed in the neighborhoods. City leaders say the public has complained about littering and crime associated with the rentals. Mayor Quentin Lucas says the city wants to regulate this, but not to shut it all down. Kansas City's a uh, whole growing city. We want to make sure that certain blocks don't just become full of hotels, basically, which is what this will be. And uh, I think this ordinance strikes the right balance. New restrictions would require rental owners to pay a $1,000 registration fee annually with the city. The city leaders say requests for short term rental license just keep coming in as well. One council member mentioned that the city has received about, well, just south of 200 rental requests or registration requests within the last few months. Uh, Lauren, some provisions within these two ordinances will have expedited uh, effective dates, if you will. Some of them would go into effect almost immediately. The ordinance, one of the ordinances specifies May 15th as an effective date. Quick. Okay. Sean McDowell at City Hall in Kansas City.